Hey guys, I hope you're good. Today is not a boat video. We have something special for you because I bought a camper van. I've been debating buying a van for ages. Uh, I've done some camper van holidays, I've spent time in other people's vans, and it's definitely something that I've always wanted to do, but there's been some things that are holding me back. And really, the only thing really that was holding me back was fear. There's the worry, you know, what if I crash the van? What if it gets stolen? What if I can't drive it properly? What if I don't like it? You know, all the negative what-ifs so ultimately i decided that they weren't good enough reasons not to do it and that i should at least give it a go i haven't run a car for a couple of years and i've only done a little bit of driving in between so i was definitely quite nervous but that's not going to get any better by not doing it and so far i think the van is fantastic to drive i've only just bought it but yeah, it seems easy to drive and I'm a pretty cautious driver anyway, so I'm just taking my time. Looking around, double checking everything, there are a few blind spots on it that you wouldn't get in a car. So I just need to be aware of those and compensate for that. I had in my mind the size of van that I wanted and the rough layout that I was looking for. And then I was debating whether to do my own conversion to get it exactly how I want it or whether to buy one that was ready converted. But the thing that swayed it for me was that I didn't want to put all of that time and effort and emotional energy into doing a conversion and then something about it not being right. Either me not using the van as much as I had anticipated or something about the layout didn't actually work for me. I found this van and it's the exact van that I was hoping to buy to do a conversion and the layout is exactly what I was looking for. Personally I would have used some different materials, different decor, but those things are not really important. It's whether I'm going to get the use out of the van and whether the layout is practical and right for me. and. What my plan is, is to keep this van for maybe 6 to 12 months. See what I like about it, see what I think could be improved to meet my needs a bit better. And then after that, uh, I could think about doing my own conversion. The van is a 2009 Ford Tornio Connect. It's got a 1.8 turbo diesel engine and it's got 77,000 miles on the clock. It's 432 centimetres long and 183 and a half centimetres high. So similar in size to an estate car. The Tornio, I think that's how you pronounce it, comes with all of the windows as standard. And originally there would have been rear seats as well. I think it comes in both a five seat and an eight seat version. It's got sliding doors on both sides, the two rear doors, which open up all the way round. Moving inside, the conversion has recently been done. I'll leave a link in the description of a video by the person who did the conversion and hopefully he's going to do some more in the future. The layout is very simple and just what I was looking for. You've got this unit here with a sink and a two burner hob. And I know a lot of people will be thinking, why a micro camper? You should have gone for something a bit bigger to have some more space. But that's not what I was looking for. What I'm planning to use the van for is if I'm going on a hike, uh, I can take the van, drive it straight to the start point of the hike, go out, have a full day up in the hills, then come back to the van. And all I'm going to be doing really is having something to eat and then going to sleep. If I'm in a city, then I'm going to want to go out and explore and experience some of the nightlife, go for something to eat. So really having all of that extra space, I think it would be a waste for me. And I have been away in bigger vans 
and really most of the time you're sitting down or you're in bed and also I want the flexibility of having a smaller vehicle so I can easily get it into parking spaces under height barriers in and out of traffic around town without worrying and also it will be easy to handle on tight country twisty roads this long bench seat pulls out into the bed i'll show you me making up the bed these two supports are kept in place by magnets and there is also a leg that screws in on the other side of the bed but i'm not going to put that in now i just want to quickly show you how the bed setup is i've sped up the footage a little bit it, it's locked in place by two bolts at one either end and once you've unbolted it you simply slide the bed out it's more than big enough for one person and i think if you're happy to get a bit cozy then you could get two people in there inside this unit you've got your gas bottle the cupboards are kept closed with magnets as well. There are three water bottles in the van. You've got one for your fresh water, one for your grey water, and then there is a spare one as well. There are these insulated screens for each of the windows. Silver on one side and then on the other side they've been covered with a black material and they just fit nicely into each of the windows um, when you look from the outside you can't see in at all so be very good for stealth camping the driving area is pretty standard and you've got this really handy over cab storage at the moment there's a folding table in there under the bench or the bed you've got these four storage boxes that pull out they've been secured in there with that little lip at the bottom so they won't go flying around as you're driving and the fifth one there that is a false front if you take that off the space under there is perfectly sized for a porta potty the same one that i have on my boat will fit in there perfectly and another really cool feature that the van has is an outdoor shower. There's a 12 volt socket just above the cupboards with the water in and it plugs into there and you put the pump into one of the fresh water containers. You can mix a bit of hot and cold water to get it to the temperature that you like. And the shower attaches to the van with magnets and the curtain rail secures in between the two doors. There is also a curtain that goes across the back of the van and that is waterproof so when you're having your shower outside the bed and everything will be protected. And there is a matching curtain between the driver's cab and the back of the van as well so you can pull that over of an evening and have some privacy. The van is lined with a carpet it's the standard liner that comes with the van there are two standard lights in the back and also these two led lights which you just press on and press off it maybe wasn't the best time to buy a van because we're still in lockdown in england but that's not going to last forever and although i can't do any overnight trips at the moment i can still do some day trips some of those restrictions have been lifted so it would be nice to get out and about into the countryside my flat is very very close to the seaside as well there's a few little bits and pieces that I want to do just to personalize it a little bit make it a bit more me but I'm not going to go over the top too soon um, the main thing is just to see what works and what doesn't work and I'm looking forward to having some really good days out and if you guys want to come along I'll take you okay thank you for watching I will see you all again very very soon bye